Mm, welcome back, everybody, to Tournament Game Analysis. So, um, this is round six of eight of the early bird of the Kingston Canadian Scrabble Classic. And this is the first time I faced Max Penich in in this uh, classic event. And before I approached Max, or when I approached him before the game, I was like, man, I've been having a lot of trouble beating you lately. Um, and he was like, oh, yeah, I don't know. And I was just like, yeah, okay, I got it. And I just felt, I just felt like, I just felt already that he was going to, he was going to get me again. Um, but I went into this game confident, hoping, hoping to win. But there was still a part of me that's like, ah, oh, this guy, this guy's got it. He's got the thing. Um, but yeah, this game, if you know, if you watch my other game against Max from the second early bird, um, this game is not as well played by me, but, uh, we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens in the game. So Max opens with RNG. Um, he could also, uh, have played a couple of other things. Uh, notably, I think anorexy might be the, um, uh, the optimal move here um but it's really hard to see that word first of all and when you have racks like like this one um unless you can see everything like instantaneously because you've studied the dictionary like twenty thousand times um finding a play like rng is ideal it doesn't take an s um doesn't put letters uh consonants next to double letter scores like we always we always uh say not to do in the opening and puts the Y on the double, so it's perfect. The only difference for anorexy is all those things are the same, but the uh, letter in the double-double lane is the X, or the blank even, um, doesn't even have to be X, but uh, the X being there makes it really unlikely that a double-double will happen. So um, yeah, anyways, I would I, I almost never see this word. I don't think I would see it. I don't think you would see it. Um, but <laughs> anyways, uh, RNG is the opening play by Max and I have this rack and I wasn't really sure what to do. Um, Halo was, I guess the play that I saw that left the best letters, um, and scored decently in return, but, um, it's kind of. Yeah, plays here kind of all suck. I uh, can't score anything. It looks like this rack is really balanced, but because of the way Max had handled the opening play, I just have no good options. I don't have any way to score with the H, and uh, I happen to have no eight-letter words. Um, there are a bunch of bunch of options here, but normally what I suggest in this sort of position is um, is playing. Uh, making some sort of a right angle or um, some way where that keeps space open on the board because when you're down a bingo, you kind of want to leave as much open as possible. So making an overlapping play like Halo, although retains the best leave, uh, gets rid of this O, this R, this A, this N, this G that I could play through otherwise. Um, so maintaining a lot of floaters on the board is, is a way to get back from an early bingo deficit. So I saw Holy, Hori, and Honey and I'm pretty sure that uh, Holy is just slightly better. Um, but I did want to keep that E. So uh, I think Hori is very, very slightly worse than the other options, but it's extremely close. Um, so I'm not going to necessarily call it a mistake. Um, I guess the other thing about Honey, uh, rather than Hori, but Holy is probably the play, but Honey... Sets up a P hook, which is potentially good and potentially bad. Anyways, um, Max ends up playing Dunt, something he wouldn't have been able to do after Honey or Holy because it puts a constant here. Um, and I draw into a baby bingo of non elite. Um, Entoiled. 
I think didn't toiled sim better. I don't remember. I already actually looked at this game, but I'm gonna look at it again because when I looked at it, it was very briefly. Um, but I can't remember if Entoiled did better than Non Elite. Um, the problem with Entoiled is it just allows so many scoring plays, as compared with Non Elite, where it allows plays uh, down here. But those plays actually tend to be okay because they leave parts of the board open. Um, and there's also this potential of playing from H1, playing a six letter word as well, uh, which is not very likely, but, but a possible way back into the game. Uh, but all in all, I think it's better for the board. Yeah. And toil is better for the board, uh, even though it allows these, these scoring options. Um, oh, actually non elite allows more scores because it allows more bingos. Yeah. Um, the main reason I didn't want to play non elite was actually because a play like Dunt um actually just allows a lot of the a play like dunt so sorry let me explain a play like dunt implies uh max has a few consonants and when your opponent plays a few bingo tiles um that are consonants and um i guess a four tile play like this uh, i've seen a lot of these these uh, sorts of plays uh, you just don't want to throw an E out in space because you're going to allow your opponent to play through that E and bingo uh, some amount of time that that uh, that you just yeah you just don't want to allow that. So so playing something like Entoiled, not opening an E to play through, is not only better in in general. It's specifically better in this circumstance um, where Dunt was played, and this is a sort of way where you don't actually know what your opponent has, but you have an idea of a, the sort of rack that they have. Um, and you can you can uh, respond uh, a bit more confidently. Um, obviously, this doesn't always work. Uh, your opponent has just drawn four fresh tiles, but over and over, if I were to play this position a um, hundred times, uh, Entoiled would work out for me way way more often than Non Elite, uh, just based on all these things. Anyways, um, so yeah, Entoiled is the play. Um, I don't remember if I saw it or and if I discarded it. I think I did see it. Um, yeah, I think I did see it, and I made a stupid call in playing non-elite. Like, like, well, I'm going to be down still. I want to bingo more often next turn. Uh, but it just gives too much back immediately to... Uh, to max so i should have played in toiled okay um tis is the play by max um i play joked keeping mic i think this one was okay juke is also an option um i don't i didn't see juke that's for sure i did see emoji um yeah let's send this again i don't actually remember what uh what the best play was according to the engine uh the reason that emoji was was so good is is because it kept the ECK combination which is very good for scoring i just didn't think it worked so well on this board uh and preferred to take a few extra points and i thought that i would bingo more often after joked than after emoji which i don't think is true oh it is yeah okay it is true so I was right about that, but bingoing is not, I guess, top priority necessarily. Uh, but yeah, emoji and juke. Uh, emoji I did see, so no excuse on not playing that. Uh, this is just another over uh, oversight on my part. Um, no, I can't type. So K8 emoji. Looks best. Strategy. Medium. All right, so joke comes down. And Max capitalizes to dump some more tiles uh, and plays Biog. Um, yeah, at this point, um, I wanted to play Co Migrate, even though I was almost certain it wasn't a word. And I also saw Origami through this eye, but I didn't see it through this eye. And Origami to this eye, I think, is the best play. Um, but Migrate isn't so far behind. But I'm pretty sure. I should have played origami for 24. Um, 
Yeah. So yeah, migrate. What it does do is it opens the board up, which I need to do here. Uh, sets up an e hook, and keeps okay. The co combination isn't terrible. Uh, but I think I should take the extra point, and the C by itself is a bit more balanced than the C and the O. Um, so yeah, I think origami was the play, but it's close. Migrate comes down, and uh, Max plays Qua. It's a very, very good play. Um, that's the sort of play that he's just sitting on for the entire turn, just hoping I don't block it. Um, and at this point I'm in pretty dire straits. I decided to maximize my scoring by playing Fices. Uh, I think this is reflected in the sim results as the best play. Um, and yeah, I think that's just what I have to do. I have to score. Hope he, he doesn't have such good stuff. Uh, and maybe I can come back. Um, and Max played, uh, Lax here for a 38, making Quatha. Uh, whenever you see cloth on the board, Quatha is sure to follow. Uh, that's something I've noticed. Um, and I draw very poorly here. Um, and I decide, again, I can play this word, it's not valid. Um, I decided to just maximize my scoring with Cage uh, and just hope for some, some short or a small miracle. And uh, Max, uh, Max plays Votes for 31. Which tells me he has another S, probably, um, almost definitely. So yeah, definitely uh, fighting against the last S here already, and I'm down 66. It's gonna be really hard to come back. Uh, Tusum was one of the plays I considered, uh, but it's just too bad. Like play through the E, and the game's pretty much over. Uh, he has one more. I have one more turn to make something happen with my leave of just a U, and uh, yeah, probably not gonna win. So I played O W E, try and create some activity on the right side of the board. Um, Max responds with Rin, and I end up playing Ivy, um, which yeah, again, they're really the options are really really bad here. Um, but I think Ivy is the best I got. Um, and yeah, Max ends the game with blenders for 89. And I'm very, very sad. But uh, yeah, I had opportunities earlier on to uh, make something happen. But uh, yeah, didn't seize them. So here I played Poof. Maybe Max has drawn like the worst tiles ever and I somehow get like an 100 point bingo and followed by an amazing draw um, which always happens uh, Max actually plays Apod uh, for 32 to block the spot and it's a good thing he did because I had Nimrods uh, in that spot for around 100 points but I play it here for 80 at least make the game somewhat reasonable. Um, Max has a a um, a c e e l, and he plays Clade, and I play. Um, what did I play? Yeah, I play Rit. Uh, and he plays heal, which was actually interesting. Um, heal was a mistake, um, but it's really hard to see why. Um, the The reason heal is a mistake is because the A that heal is keeping uh, scores 11 here, but scores uh, 14 here. And um, blocking this spot allows me to block the the Z spot. Now he doesn't have a good a great spot for his uh, for his A. So he should have played Ave. Very very weird end game thing here, and left himself two good spots for the A. Uh, I actually can't even block this one. 
So he's just going to get it regardless. But he plays heal for more points. Makes sense. I play Biz to block Za. And he plays AA and wins 472 to 379. Um, yeah, short, short video. I think it's partly because I already analyzed this game. Uh, it's the only game, actually, of the entire event that I analyzed because I was just like, what did I do? Like, I feel like every decision I made in the beginning of the game was wrong, and I wanted to see what the engine thought uh, just so that I could justify to myself that it's not that I'm missing things, it's that I'm thinking wrongly about those things. And indeed, that was the case. Uh, my play of Hori was probably okay, but non-elite was totally wrong. Joked was totally wrong. Migrate was wrong. Um... And after that, that was it. Like, uh, there's nothing I could do um, to withstand Max's power. So, um, yeah, uh, that was game six. There are two more games to go. Uh, I guess I need to update this, actually, this annotation goal. goal. It was one off. Now, the two more to go. Um, and then I'll be switching to random games. Uh, I, I don't even know which ones I'm going to look at next. But once I once I get through um, 2022 games, it's back to the drawing board. I'm gonna grab my uh, my piano case and start sorting through the papers. I always have so much fun doing that um, and finding finding some old tournament games that I have failed to annotate. So, anyways, two more episodes to go, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.